in this video we are going to learn how we can maximize profit by using non-linear non-standard quantity discount pricing for this we are going to take the same example which we have taken in the previous video when we understand how to maximize profit by using non-linear standard quantity discount pricing so therefore if you have not watched that previous video i request you before watching this video you please watch that video the link for that videos are given in the description well as far as using non-standard quantity discount pricing is concerned there is a uh, only one difference as compared to standard quantity discount pricing and that is the formula which we entered in price paid in non-standard quantity discount pricing we charge all the units up to the top value with high price and when the unit exceed the cutoff value we charge all units with low price so accordingly we have to enter the formula therefore if units are less than equal to cutoff value all the units will be charged with high price and uh, if this is not true that means if the units are greater than cut off value then all the units are charged with low price that's it this is the only change which we are required to do as compared to standard quantity discount pricing rest things will remain the same so now just drag this formula into remaining cell enter the formula in consumer surplus consumer surplus is nothing but community value minus price paid hit enter then just drag this formula into remaining cell that's it now our sheet is ready to run the solver as far as solver is concerned again the things will remain the same as we have used in standard quantity discount pricing so go to data click on solver so if you look at in the set objective we have already entered that is m6 that is a total profit which is available here Set objective to maximum by changing variable. We have entered here this range that is I1 through I3. Constant will also remain the same. We want high price and low price both less than or equal to 50. Both these prices should be greater than or equal to 2 because our cost is rupees 2 to produce a unit of power. Cutoff value it should be less than or equal to 20 because we have taken maximum 20 units. We want cutoff to be an integer that is a whole number. We do not want it into decimal points. Therefore, we have given the constraint that is cutoff is equal to integer. And the cutoff also required to be greater than or equal to 1. So all constant, these are the same as we have set in standard quantity discount pricing. Solving method, of course, it has to be evolutionary. If it is not, please select that and then just click solve. Solver will take some time. You are aware of it. So have some patience. Okay. Now solver results are available. Click on okay. Now you can see the profit has maximized to 64. Previously, it was only 29. And now if you look at the values for the cutoff is 15, high price is slightly over 41, and low price is 6. Now, this is how uh, we can uh, maximize the profit by using non linear, non standard quantity discount pricing. Thank you.